All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Lady Nika. I can tell you this right here. <laughs> the devil is a busy thing. You hear what I'm saying? It's a busy thing. Now, I know many of y'all are wondering, where the hell is your love and hip-hop review, uh, Lady Nika? Babe, I've been trying to get that review out to y'all since 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 a.m. Tuesday morning. I was up recording. I sent it. I uploaded the video. When I uploaded the damn video, y'all, it got to 95% uh, processed, and the shit stayed there for two hours. After two hours, I said, okay, maybe it's too long, because it was a 30-minute review, and, you know, I kind of went off a little bit, so I said, maybe the file is corrupt, because I, I went to the YouTube, you know, feedback thing, where you can ask questions and get answers, so they, I read on that forum that maybe my, the file had got some kind of way corrupted, so I deleted it, as it was sitting at 95% processed, and I went back, and I got on camera, I condensed it down to 20 minutes, and I uploaded it again. That shit got the 95% process, and it stayed there. It was still at 95% processed at 12 noon today. For those of you who may believe that I'm just not doing the reviews, I don't know what the fuck you feel that shit for. And if you're following me on social media, I definitely put the proof up for you could see that I wasn't just bullshitting. I did it off camera and I did it on camera before my appointment and tried to get this video out to y'all. I don't know what's going on. I don't even know if this is going to get past 95% process, but I'm going to put my best foot forward, and I'm going to try again tomorrow. Instead of doing two reviews, look like I got three to do. I got Have and Have Nots, I got Queen Sugar, and I'm still going to do my Love and Hip Hop review because I don't give a damn what forces try to come against me. I know it ain't nothing of God, and so I'm going to keep trying, y'all. I'm going to keep trying. I don't give a shit if that shit don't get to y'all to Friday. You, every day, I'm going to upload it and try, and I'm going to show you proof that I'm trying to get it uploaded. Today, my spirit said, be still and let it go for a moment. I was so upset about my video not getting out to you guys. It broke me, man, and I don't, I ain't no bitch that break too easy. That shit had me in tears because I just did not understand you know, when you already going through a little something, it just, it do something to you when the smallest of things that you like to do just fail on your ass. And I ain't gonna lie, I feel like I had the weight of the world on my shoulder in that moment because it wasn't coming together the way I wanted to. All I wanted to do was get my love and hip hop review out. That's all I wanted to do. And I was able to get a video out about Tommy and Rashida rumors that I was hearing on the streets. And I couldn't get my love and hip hop review itself out. Shit didn't make no sense. I mean, I did everything known to mankind and I couldn't get the shit out. So, y'all just bear with me. I don't know if this even going to get to you. But I'm going to put forth the effort to get on camera again tomorrow and try to do the three reviews. And I just hope and pray that it goes up. I, I needed to do that for me. I just needed, I need a win this week. <laughs> I know we just said Tuesday, but bitch, I need a win right about now. I'm telling you. But that ain't why we're here. But I had to tell y'all what's been going on because I ain't want you thinking that I'm derelict. And to the people that are saying, are you going to be doing all your stuff through Spreaker and, you know, the bubble screen? Hell no. Anytime I go Spreaker or I go bubble screen, you can trust and believe. It's something related to my health. I can't get on camera, but I can still give you the best of me the best way I know how like I've been doing the three years that I've been down here. Now, I don't know what the big deal is, you know what I'm saying, for for the people. I don't understand what the big deal is because I'm a girl, and it ain't like I'm a supermodel. And as long as you hear me, you know I'm all right, I'm alive, and I'm, I'm out here trying. So for those y'all that haven't given me grief, Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And those of y'all who did give me a little grief so far about the speakers and stuff, you know, just have some compassion. 
I don't even feel like cussing about it. Just just have some compassion. Either you with me or you not. If you not, then I respect it. And I, holly, I see your ass at the crossroads. I ain't going to be lonely. Okay? That's not why I came down here today. Why I came down here trying this today is because, see, it's a new day in this world. With the current president that we have... Many of people have thought that they can just run their mouth. But I've told y'all in previous videos, loose lips sink ships, okay? Now, Lady Nika, what the fuck is you talking about? We talking Roseanne goddamn bar. Roseanne decided that she was going to go on a, tw a Twitter tirade. And basically, she said that a monkey and a Muslim procreated and they w w the product of their procreation was Valerie Jarrett Jarrett now for some of y'all might not know who Miss Valerie Jarrett is she was a senior representative in the Obama administration now <clears throat> when I seen the tweet America I wasn't surprised because, see, Roseanne has teetered the line before with some racial stuff. And she got a fascination with monkeys. I don't know what this bitch problem is with monkeys. But she got a fascination with monkeys. If you go back and you research, you'll find that Roseanne Barr has said some shit in the past that was very racist. And she got away with it before because the climate was different. However, we live in a different climate today. Where where you what you say, you will be held accountable for, because there's consequences behind everything. So she tweeted that shit out right about Valerie Jarrett. Then she went after another person in Chelsea Clinton. I think it was George Soros. I'm not certain, but she was on one of her little tirades, and see, she thought she was gonna get away with it because a she's a Trump supporter. And B, in the past, she has, as I said, said many of things and was able to get away with that shit. But people wasn't hearing that bullshit today. I started seeing people dying on the Twitter, tweeting at, uh, Disney, because, you know, Disney is the parent company of ABC. And hours later, after I got out my appointment for me and my grandbaby today, I sat back down and I started going through Twitter again and I came across a post that said ABC had canceled the Roseanne Barr Show reboot. And I said, yes, God. Not G-A-W-D. Uh-uh, not that God. We ain't being cute. We, I mean, yes, God, G-O-D. In all caps, bitch, with exclamation points behind it. See? H&M, y'all see why we was mad about the monkey references and shit? That shit ain't cute, man. That shit ain't fucking cute to do. It just ain't cute to do. You do not say what you want to say in a racially tense atmosphere. And that's what we living in. Trump has made it so. He done brought out all the racist cards, you know, all the racists that think they can say any and every damn thing is now coming out and they saying things they would never say before because they feel like they can get away with it. But oh, it's a new day. Them tweets got to the peoples over there at the ABC. And as a result of her racist tirade that she went on, they pulled her damn show. Now, she tried to do some damage control, or somebody on her team did, because she tried to apologize to Valerie uh, Jarrett. But your insincere-ass apology fell on deaf ears because of your mouth. Your show has been canceled. And I was, you know, I don't fuck with Wanda Sykes like that. But I must say, I was proud of the fact that Wanda Sykes separated herself first from it. When she saw what Roseanne was tweeting, she quickly said, uh, not me, not today. I guess she remembered that she's a little black girl, too. I don't know why these monkey references is so prevalent 
out of these racial racist people's mouths nowadays. Maybe like I said, because they think they can get away with this shit. But it's a new day, people. It's a new day. And there are consequences. People ain't being quiet no more. They not sitting on the sideline letting you say shit like they did back in the day. There are consequences. Say some shit on social media if you want to. And whatever project you involved in, run the risk of uh, having it blow up in your face. Because nobody deserves to be treated like that. I ain't asking you to love me, bitch. I'm saying respect me because we ain't going nowhere. We built this country after you stole it from the Native Americans. We ain't going nowhere, bitch. We ain't going nowhere. And I'm not surprised her show was pulled. In fact, I'm happy about it. Bitch, I'm elated. Because that goes to show you what the power of of, of the tongue can can do for you. It can make you or break you. Now, I heard some rumors down on the social media that uh, the show may possibly be picked up by Fox. That's fine. It's going to get canceled again. And I'm going to tell you why. This time it's going to get canceled because of poor ratings. See, you can't expect to do fucked up shit and get great results from that. No, you don't run fast, nor do you run long nowadays. She got what she deserved, and I don't feel nothing but happiness at the fact that her show was canceled. And every one of her castmates ought to want to take their foot and insert it to the deepest part of her ass because that was unnecessary. Now, I know Trump is your homeboy. I'm waiting on his tweets. But that just goes to show you the power of the people. How together we can make a change in any situation. We don't have to allow ourselves to be mistreated, disrespected. You might as well get that old thoughts out your head that you had going on in your head and see Roseanne come from that time and era. That, that, yeah, that time and era. But it's a new day, honey. It's a new day. It's the day that with what you say can make you or it can break you. And it don't wait no long time to break you if breaking is what got to go on. I'm happy. I didn't like a motherfucking ass no way. I never did. I didn't never think she was a funny motherfucker. She was tolerable. When I first seen her make her first monkey references years ago, I was done with her ass then. But the reboot came and, and you know, it, it had really good ratings. And I was like, all right. We don't see how long this gonna last. I just wish we lived in a climate where all this racial discord would just go away, but it's not going nowhere. To the racist people of America, dear racist America, we are here and we are here to stay. You ain't putting us back on no ships because I wasn't born on no ship and nor did I come from over there. That's where my ancestors came from. And how did they get here? Because you went into their continent and pulled them away from their from their land, their culture, their religion, and you brought them over here to till the land and build this great country that we live in. Girl, we ain't going nowhere. And Roseanne, you thought that shit was going to be, you thought you were going to continue to be able to be the way you were and say the things that you were saying. But it's a new day, bitch. Welcome to America 2018. And I'm out.